Hello, Victoria in Jacksonville, Florida. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut a bifocal lens, a non-prescription in the top and a 175 reader in the bottom for your Tom Ford 52-44 size, color 52 size 44. So let me go ahead and pop out your original demo lenses, one of which says Tom Ford on it cute little soft teddy bear Tom Ford case you got there but I'm gonna take your frame put it into the tracing element of my edger and hit trace the clamps close and then this little stylus is gonna pop up and it's gonna go around and trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the shape of the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You, when you buy a genuine, authentic, well, any frame from me, you will receive one free pair of single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. In your case, you already had your frame, so you only need to purchase the lenses from me. In just a moment, your shape is going to pop up here on the computer. That is good. I'm going to take your right lens. Let me just make sure that is the right lens. That is. Place it onto the platform and actually I want to cut a bifocal lens and I'm going to go, let me do one thing there, I'm going to go four millimeters below the center, get everything lined up just perfectly. And this is a block, as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need a double sided adhesive sticker, of which I've got one here and the black side is the sticky side i'm gonna stick that on the first block get the second block ready we can do that pull the paper away to make uh, the black side is the sticky side now the little silver button on the back is a magnet that's going to do its job twice the first time is holding in place in the arm here and now i'm going to take my stylus hit the button and the block is going to be placed on your right lens let's do the same thing now for your left lens pull the paper away woohoo the whole thing wants to run away. There we go. Pull the paper away to make that side sticky. Get your left lens lined up there just perfectly. We're going to mimic the other lens and hit that button and then the block is going to be applied to your left lens. Now the actual cutting wheel is over. By the way, this is the edger. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and get one, put it on your kitchen counter and then you won't need me anymore but the actual cutting wheel is on the inside. It's gonna act like that heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center with that channel, that little valley, is what's gonna put the bevel on your lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now the magnet's gonna do its job a second time as I place the lens into the chuck. I pull up the shape onto the computer. I tell the lens what type of, the edger I should say, what type of lens material you have and Hit start, the door is going to close, the clamp is going to shut, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses. It's going to measure the lens to make sure it's large enough to fit into the frame, which it is. It's just a routine operation, but it also measures the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the best cosmetic fit possible. Now just a moment, the wheels start spinning and the lens is going to drop down onto the cutting wheel. Now you need no prescription in the top. Essentially this is just going to be like a clear window pane with 1.75 reading power in the bottom. Now if you notice your lens is completely flat all the way around the edge just like a nickel if I were to take it out now it would stand up on the counter it's going to trace the shape one more time to get a second measurement just a check and balance system of exactly where to place the bevel for the best fit so in just a moment your lens will not be flat around the edges anymore it's going to drop down onto the bevel wheel
Now in just a moment, this arm is going to move out into place. At the end of this arm is a little spinning wheel, something you would find on a Dremel tool. That's what's going to put the safety bevel on the front surface, which is the convex surface of the lens, before moving over and doing the same thing on the convex, concave rear surface of the lens. Hopefully I'm not missing any of this. I apologize. I'm not a professional cinematographer. I am a licensed optician in the state of North Carolina. I apologize if I miss any of the action. Let me see if I can rearrange the camera so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so the right lens is done. Just a moment, the door will open. Let me go ahead and get a paper towel ready. Let's go ahead and open up the chuck. Pull that out and dry everything off there. And grab your frame. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Press down at the nose. That snaps in perfectly. Let's go ahead and do the same thing now for the left lens. We're going to place it in. We're going to flip that over to L. Hit the start button. Just like before, the door closes. The clamp shuts. And then the lens is going to be traced again to make sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And again, measuring the thickness at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness possible. Of course, with this prescription, you have none protruding outside of your frame. So this is well done, perfectly cut lens, if I say so myself. So the lens is dropped down onto the cutting wheel. So it's going to pr perform a routine operation, again measuring the thickness of the lens at every point, just to double check what it had done the first time around. And again, if you can notice your lens is completely flat at the edges, now it's going to get the V-shaped bevel, so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Essentially it's getting it's a knife-like edge. Maybe it's more like a clamshell, not quite as sharp as a knife. Would you settle for a clamshell down in Florida? So again, the arm moves out into place. And now the safety bevel will be applied to the lens. Starting with the front surface, the convex surface that sits away from the face. Before moving, readjusting itself and putting the safety bevel on the concave rear surface of the lens. Now let's check the left lens. We will take it out of the chuck. Take that out, dry everything off. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and remove these. They are no longer needed anymore. Dry everything off again. Just want to use this graph to make sure everything is sitting in their level. Let me hold that up to a light so I can see. That is perfect. Now, let's go ahead and inspect the lens power. That everything is perfect. Check the, the top half. And we are getting zero, which is what we in the business call Plano. I'm going to raise this up. Check the power of the bifocal. Now I'm reading plus 175. We're at one, one and a quarter, 150, 175, two. One tick mark away from two. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Since we're on that power, check the bifocal. That is good. Again, we're at the 175. Drop it down. Check the power in the top. And we are back to zero. Just a clear window pane. So, 
put everything down on the counter and you can see there is a very light brown tint in there but I think I'm going to play around with that just a little bit more darken that up for you since you get your own personal sun there in Florida so that's that if anyone has any questions about what I can or can do just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com Victoria in Jacksonville Florida I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut a line style bifocal for your Tom Ford 5244 color 052 in the 54 eye size and everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.